Hello, this is the Cisco SD branch video series where we showcase features, technology and solutions available. Today, let's talk about how to onboard the Catalyst 8200 UCPE in vManage. My name is Ramesh Kalimuthu and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco focused on virtualization technologies. In this video, I will first provide an overview of the deployment workflow. Next, I'll provide step-by-step -step instructions on creating a design template followed by attaching device to the design template. In a subsequent video, we will talk about deploying the Catalyst 8000V router on the UCP platform in controller mode using the SD branch template. Catalyst 8200 UCP devices run NFEIS operating system that provide hypervisor and lifecycle management functions. Virtual machines or virtual network functions, VNFs as they are called, can be hosted on the platform. Now, hardware and VNF services can be provisioned and managed using the Cisco vManage. Particularly when managing hundreds or thousands of sites, Cisco vManage makes the platform firmware upgrades, NFEIS software upgrade, and the SD-WAN software upgrade process highly effective. For CPE device to talk to Cisco vManage, we need to have one of the dedicated WAN ports connected. With the device powered on, platform software NFEIS can be in factory default setting. In this demo topology, network is providing DHCP address on the GIGI00 WAN port. After the UCP device receives the IP address and DNS, it will reach out to devicehelper.cisco.com and learn the organization it belongs to. Organization name, we want IP, device certificate information are used to establish the control connection and securely onboard the device. First, we log into vManage and verify that a C8200 device is available to deploy. So you can filter by the device type, C8200. Yes, there is a device available. We can quickly check the validity of the certificate. Yes, it is valid, which means it's ready to use. Now, the next step is to go ahead and create a network design. So configuration, network design. And in this, we create the circuits. It's pretty much a guided workflow. And we create circuit first. Let's add a private circuit with a color MPLS as an example. And we can add another circuit, which is public, make it a uh, business internet, and then finish. Now the next task is to add a branch site template. So we can give it a name, SD branch site template. To add a device profile, give it a device profile name. Let's say UCP is the device profile name. And then we select a device type model. Let's call it C8200 UCPE. And then we associate the circuits to this device profile. Let's say business internet is the circuit that we want to use. Now we add a LAN facing segment. You could either create or use an existing. I already have an existing one. Let's say LAN with a VPN 10. Let's go ahead and add it and you can finish. After adding the device profile, the next step is to define the contents of the device profile. The WAN characteristics, the port that the device is going to use to connect with the vManage, and the addressing method is DHCP. Similarly for LAN, we choose an interface name, GIGI02, and then next, 
we define the management. Now, NFEIS is a host-like system. Only one of the interfaces can acquire address via DHCP method and, the, and learn the default gateway. Because we chose WAN as the DHCP, management must be defined as static. Say done. There is unsaved changes. So we go ahead and save. When the device first reaches out, it's, it's sitting in the factory default setting, which means the admin password is the default password. Now, the first step is to change the default password to something else that vManage can uh, start using. So you choose C Edge and Cisco AAA. We change the admin password in the AAA section. Admin, we edit, and then we change the password to something other than the default. And we follow the password, eight character password convention method. Mix of number, special character, small case, and large. We save the changes, update, and also we save the entire design. Now that the branch template is created, the next step is to go ahead and attach this template to a device. So we can go attach devices. We have a UCP device waiting. So we can select. If there are multiple devices, you select whichever devices you like. So we enter the site specific values for this particular device. For the management interface, we chose static address. So we provide a static address. And then a host name. Let's say site72-ucpe and then uh, a unique system IP for the UCP and then a site ID. So after we provide the parameters that are required for the device, then we have a preview option. We can look at the configuration that is that will be pushed to the device from vManage. So here is the NFEIS configuration. And then in case you are making an update, then you can see the diff as well. So that's the beauty of this tool. And then once you're satisfied with the configuration, then you can just go configure the device. And once you select that, you can look at the progress of the task. You can see the step-by-step -step progress. Right now, the template is attached and it is waiting for the device uh, to come online. As soon as the device comes online, the configuration is going to be applied to the device. We can also look at, in the device list, if we go and look at the C8200, you can see that the template that we created is actually attached now. Earlier, this was not attached, but right now this is attached. because In smart account, we can see the state of the device transition from pending redirection to contacted to redirected to redirection successful. In vManage, we can see that the device is successfully attached. In addition, we can log into the device itself through the tools SSH. The device that we added is Site72 UCPE. We can log into the device. And if this is the NFEIS device, admin and the password that we configured in vManage. You can see that the name has changed also the system IP site ID that was configured during the attach procedure is, is used as well. So when we have hundreds of devices, having a central place to access the devices is very useful. 
uh, and it's possible with vManage. I hope you found this demo useful and informative. If you'd like to learn more about SD Branch, uh, Cisco Catalyst 8200UCP, or the Catalyst 8000V, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, thank you for watching.